hi you guys good morning so this is a new vlog and in this particular vlog it is going to be the right combination of chaotic and peaceful i'm prepping for a trip as the title must have told you i'm prepping for a trip to lagos i'm going for hmm, i don't know i'm so excited about this trip i'm going to meet one of my greatest mentors stella damasas and um this is for a class a class and talent showcase so it's a mix of the both and i'm excited i'm going to be performing at the talent showcase where a lot of um uh, big shots in the nollywood industry are going to be and i'm excited for it i mean it's a step in the right direction for my career so yes i'm excited before we get into all that i have a lot to do in preparation for this trip okay um today right now i am dressed up I'm, I'm, I'm still dressing up i need to step out i have a long list of to do i woke up first of all let's begin with the fact that i woke up this morning tired but because <laughs> babe good morning how far so but because uh, that was my husband in case you're wondering I remember lazy wife hey now we went the day they asked for breakfast don't and be like me oh. <laughs> oh don't take my word for it anyone <laughs> so what would i say so i woke up today i was very tired but i had to you know put together my to-do list because inside my head it was just doing as if you know the civil war was still happening so i needed to like write down everything i have to do today and after that i still had to exercise and then have my bath you know prep breakfast the one obi might eat here and the one i'll carry out and you guys so guys this is the editing amaka talking and i just realized that this clip was blurry i was such in a hurry to step out of the house that i did not double check to ensure that i had a good clip but anyways i was just showing you guys my feet and you know talking about what the day had in store for me okay let go You guys i just finished doing my nails and i love them absolutely and i'm about heading to Buse market the absolute ghetto so <laughs> stay tuned i need to go get some stuff i think uh, buy a belt buy i shall have my list here i'll look through it and then let you guys know okay <laughs> On up a meeting, you know. have to prepare the store. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let me take it. Make sure it doesn't roll away. Yeah. Roll it. Yeah. So you just quickly go talk for all year. Give me. Yeah. When you get used, we use direct to this thing. Not your own. Me give you. Me pay no me pay. Me pay. Me pay. Me pay. Me so you guys i just came back and the funniest thing just happened so i was about paying the uh, bike man because i didn't come back with both so i was about paying the bike man and meanwhile before i entered the bike i asked him if he had um change like 50 naira oh my god i think i'm going to fall sick very soon i'm having this fever uh kini this thing that usually comes when you know you're having fever i think i need to take some preventative medicine or something anyways 
so before I entered the bank, I asked him if he had changed because the fare is supposed to be 150 naira because I had 200 naira. So he told me yes, okay. So I got on the bike and uh, we got to my gate and I brought out this uh, 200 and gave him. He searched his pocket, he didn't find any um, 50 naira. So I'm his house and somehow he doesn't understand English language or you know, I had to like speak in pidgin and even the pidgin was difficult for him to understand. I mean, I stood there and I realized that this guy doesn't have a 50 naira. I now told him, okay, I have 50 naira, do you have 100 naira? He also didn't have that. And then I just told myself, just give the fifty naira for him. I mean, let him, you know, maybe use it and help someone else who doesn't have um, up to, you know, whatever the affair is. So I was like trying to communicate that to him. I was saying, see what you're going to do when next, whenever you pick up somebody or if you see somebody who doesn't have um, up to the amount, use this money, make it up for the person and let the person ride. So I like told him, okay, can you repeat or like, Talk with him, I talk, make I not say you don't understand what I do. I'm like, it was a difficult task, oh. Ha, Chinikina. It was such a difficult task for this guy. So much so that he had to now start asking any bike that passes by, eh, do they have change? So he found someone like, I'm sure that he told himself, it go better say I find this change, give this person, than this kind of English lesson which you won't come give me test for. <laughs> Oh, it was funny, but like I kept a straight face all together. I mean, find my change, give me great. But I need to know that you understand what I'm talking about before I give you. Because I wasn't dashing him the money. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted him to be like understand that what I was doing for him was a favor. And I wanted him to be able to like do that for someone else. I'm back home. I have just come back from Muse Market. And I still have something else to go outside to get. And that is my um, compact powder and... Um, let's say call them again certain powder yeah those two things i need to go out and get them and i'm supposed to get them at shop right i was supposed to get them during the weekend but i i don't know i'm not one of these people who know the exact powder color they use so because i didn't know the exact powder color i couldn't like tell them okay this is the powder color i use like the foundation when i say ah, what am i saying powder this is the foundation color i use so can you give me like a compact powder that would uh, work for it you know the brand is maybelline and they have a stand in shoprite jabi so yeah that's what i'm going to now but before i go i want to have lunch and then i'll copy out the number of my like foundation so that i can tell them okay this is the foundation i used so yeah, that's basically it i got things from the market i love the things that i got i'm going to be showing it to you guys much later Maybe when I've relaxed and after I've gone and gotten these um, items from ShopRite, then I'll know that I'm done buying all the things I need to buy tomorrow. However, let's leave that up for, you know, later. Much, 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 much later. I'll tell you guys, okay? So that one is exactly the same shade as this one? Yes. Oh. Okay, this is golden caramel, yeah? Yes, golden caramel, golden caramel. This okay. is pretty, golden caramel was passing. This is pretty, pretty, golden caramel was passing. So are they just, are they the same shape? Yeah, the same just shape. Just that each one is then full, uh, full, full coverage and each one is okay. I just want to be sure. Hi, you guys. So I'm just getting back home after leaving when I left. And I just want to show you guys the things that I got in the market. So I got this bag, this duffel bag. I hope I'm. I hope that's what it actually is. So I got this bag. I've been meaning to get like a travel bag that doesn't necessarily require rolling. My neighbors are passing up for some reason. They're always talking. Please, guys, let's wait it out. Like I was saying, so I got this bag. I've been trying to get a traveling bag that doesn't actually require rolling because one, the only traveling bag, I pick, yeah, the traveling bag I have that, that isn't so tiny and old is a big one that has to be rolled and I don't want that. So I just wanted something like compact, something I can just carry like this, okay? And be making my movements and I like it. It has quite some quality and as you guys saw in the market, I got it from OK you know look, look at the insides you know it's really quality 
trust me you don't want to know how much i got it i don't know that things have gotten this expensive i did not know i did not know hmm. next stop i got some cosmetic products so i got this um setting powder by uh, younger beauty and then i have been meaning to get a, a sponge a makeup sponge like all the like the really really soft ones so you know so i finally got it yay is now uh is my makeup kit now don't be like to do shabo at least i try so i got this younger beauty setting powder in the shade what shade is this i got it in custard the custard one i believe it will work very well with my um complexion another makeup product that i got i'm sure you guys saw i visited maybe line uh, this thing like i talked about earlier so i got their um their mascara maybe line mascara i always like you know volume and length that's what i wanted so i got this and then i finally got the powder i was talking about the you know pressed powder from maybelline also because it's their um foundation that i use so this one is super stay and it's full coverage and i got it in caramel golden camera of caramel <laughs> got it in golden camera of 59 okay so i also got belts because i have been sharing belts with my husband as in i can't even my, your man is tired of me at this point so i got different belts um, I got two like feminine sized ones, actual feminine size, not the them bold ones. I can always still use these bold belts anytime I want to, but you know, I got my feminine ones. I know that, you know, I wouldn't have to stress him for a guy. As I was buying it, they were saying that this thing is kanda. You know when leather leather exactly. <laughs> this particular one over oh, here, and then this one also. I got like a really tiny one. <laughs> you know for certain kind of outfits and then this one i believe this is also good leather sha you know yeah i also got this and then last but certainly in any way not the least i ordered hair and it arrived a few days ago and i've been holding off on opening it i wanted to unbox it with you guys i've been meaning to get a like a fringe wig for the longest time ever this is the hair itself let's open it up like i got it in ginger oh i love 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 it i like how it looks <laughs> oh my god this is what it looks like guys this is it i think i should wear it in front of you people now we're not going to do any of that. So you put this in pictures. If you're following me on Instagram, that's where you'll enjoy it. See, if you've watched this vlog up to this point and like you've not subscribed, what are you doing? Like you don't like good things. Like, like I, I'm trying to understand you. Like make it make sense. Like you don't like good things. Like are you not enjoying yourself? Let's be, let's be real. Like aren't you having fun? So, guy. For click the subscribe button you want to see my face more often right help my channel grow encourage me it's not easy oh ah hey please 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 encourage me i'm begging you everything in the name of god encourage me please subscribe subscribe to, subscribe to my channel click the subscribe button and subscribe share this video drop a comment let me know what you think and all that you guys my trip is for i think five i know it's trying in the evening and all my experiences entering lagos in the evening is not funny because you're going to most likely be stuck in traffic and i'm going and i'm going to be staying on the island most likely so it's not funny at all at all i can't even lie i'm not looking forward to it at all i'm not but yeah that's about it so you guys see you tomorrow i hope you've enjoyed this vlog so far we're not done let us sleep and wake up hi you guys so i'm sure you're wondering how exactly i ended up in that situation well i woke up and figured that i better 
get a move on treating this malaria, you know, treating my body. And as I suspected, I was right, it was malaria. So I just took the injection, it's supposed to be for three days. I'll come back tomorrow and take the second dose before I travel. And then when I get to Lagos, uh, my brother will most likely help me finish the dosage. My brother is a doctor. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm not in my highest of moods or anything, but yeah, we're going to get through today. Yeah, right now I need as much rest as I can get. And before I do that, I would have to, you know, begin the process of actually getting the rest with the next place that I'm off to now. So I'll see you guys when I get there. hasn't today has not been funny energy wise i hate being or feeling sick but the good thing is that i've started taking injections for it and i'm really really hoping that it doesn't affect my general well-being in lagos because if there's something i hate it is being sick away from home you know anyways at least thankfully I'll be staying with my elder brother who's a doctor and I think it will help the situation. But yeah, I just came back from the spa. It was soothing. <sighs> but I don't know if it did me more harm than good. I don't know. Because you know how malaria acts out? It's, it comes for your muscles and your joints and all that. So considering that I just had the Swedish massage, I don't know if I'm not feeling more pain <laughs> than I did before I went to have the massage. But any which way, you guys, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Anywho, today is the day that we are leaving this Abuja to the Lagos. And as you guys can see, I'm a bit more energetic today. Yeah, all thanks to the medication. But I would have to be ending this vlog here, sadly. Sadly, because I need to... I will be starting another vlog, okay? And that is going to be about my stay in Lagos and all that. You don't want to miss that one. Anywho, look you guys, I'm so grateful for the fact that you have watched up to this point. 
thank you so much please do not forget to like subscribe share this video comment i want to hear from you comment section is always the bomb all right thank you so much till next vlog bye